Bonjour, buenos dias, magandang umaga, welcome to my chamber of chakras. I am Bernadette Goko Conley, and you are watching the BGC channel for Astro Affirmation on November 9th, 2022. It is the day after the full blood moon total lunar eclipse in Taurus. Shake, rattle, and roll, people. Yes, we now have a newly elected mother of the Inland Empire, Mayor Helen Tran. Holy Spirit, activate. Holy Spirit, activate. Holy Spirit, activate. Yes. Hey. And the color of the day is, come on, let me hear it. That's right. Indigo. 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 The color of the night sky. Dark blue with a tinge of purple. Deep purple. Some people mistake it for the color black, but if you look closely at a different angle, you can see the reflection of the azure sea on a moonlit night. I'm wearing the color denim, which is the closest color of indigo that I could find in my closet this morning. My navy blue beetle shirt. denim jacket and jeans and this head wrap that I crocheted myself for my messy bun and it looks like a turban a pointy turban okay our sixth sense the third eye chakra I didn't I didn't draw one but it's also called the brow chakra because it's at the center between your eyebrows. So the third eye chakra rules the day. The spinning wheel of energy in our soul spirit that powers our intuition and our psychic abilities. The portal to the spiritual dimension through the pineal gland the pine cone in the center of our brain. I showed the, you this yesterday. This is the human brain looking at it from the top of the head. Okay, so it has two hemispheres. And in the center there, if you open up the brain, like if you cut it in half here and separate the left and right hemisphere, this is what you see. This is the cross section of the human brain. And right here is the pineal gland in here somewhere. Okay. Yesterday I had drawn the eye of Horus there because that's what the Egyptians say. That area where the pineal gland is looks like an eye, and they called it the eye of Horus. Anyway, <clears throat> the pineal gland is like this pine cone at the center of our brain. So open the door to enlightenment and activate transcendence from the material to the abstract world of invisible forces. Ascend to your higher self and see beyond the veil between the living and the dead. The Ajna in Sanskrit, the Ajna, the third eye chakra is located between the brows. I didn't put anything there today like I usually do when it's the third eye chakra day, but just imagine that that third eye chakra is located between the brows and centered at the pineal gland. So 
like I was saying with these pictures, it's right inside there. And if you open up the brain, it's in the center area. So the Eye of Horus, like I was saying, the Egyptian called that area where the pineal gland is located. And this is the gland that secretes the hormone melatonin. And it secretes it in response to darkness, the closing of the eyes, in response to that sleepy feeling all aboard the Lore Star Cutter, that ancient ship that sails through the cosmos. The Ajna ushers you to the land of visions, premonitions, dreams, and nightmares. Ajna means command, the perception beyond wisdom, the eye of consciousness. Let me show you my chakra chart. The third eye chakra is located up here. It is the sixth chakra of our energy body. Okay, pretend this equilateral triangle in the background is you or me in a lotus position. Lotus position is when you sit down on your bottom, like Indian style with your legs folded, where you're actually making a triangle with your bottom and your legs. So it's like the base of a pyramid and then your body are the sides of the pyramid. So anyway, imagine that this is your body with a straight posture you will line up your energy chakras and there are seven in our primary body energy body okay and today we're talking about the sixth chakra it's between the crown and the throat chakra which bridges our thoughts and our words thoughts words and this, the third eye chakra, bridges those two energy wheels together. They work in synchronicity with each other. And the symbol for the third eye chakra is this. It's a lotus flower with two petals representing our dualistic nature. One petal on one side of the flower is our human part, and the petal on the other side of the flower is our divine part, equal and balanced to make a wholesome and well-rounded human being. Now, close your eyes wherever you are. Straighten your back so that your seven chakras are in line, elongated upward toward the heavens. Empty your mind by observing the thoughts go through and finding the gap between. Look for that gap of silence between the thoughts. Get in the gap where there is no thought and breathe in through your nose while visualizing the color indigo radiating from the center of your brain outwards, inwards, upwards, downwards, fluxing with energy and creating a deep purple electromagnetic field around your body. Breathe out to release all fears, sadness, anxiety. Let go of negative thoughts and ideas and imagine them disintegrating in the golden white light of God, purified in the fire of the Most High, 
Holy Spirit and cleansed by the blood of the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, Jesus Christ. You can chant the mantra for the third eye chakra if you want. Sham. Or make up your own mantra, your own personal one. Or just hum mm, while you exhale or as you exhale, okay? Just relax, rest in the comfort of knowing that you are loved with the greatest love of all. I leave you now with some Bible passages to meditate on today. The first one is Isaiah 1, 18. Come now, let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, they shall become like wool, cleansed. John 15, 13, greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. You see, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, God incarnate, took our place and died for our sins. He took upon himself the sins of all people, the sins of the world, and put them to death on the cross of his crucifixion. There is no greater love than this. So, once again, I honor God in you and me. Namaste.